Hello everyone, I am Pile of Games, and today I'm with, uh, going to be talking about the Shinras, which is a new archetype uh, for Yu-Gi-Oh! and it's uh, one I'm finding really interesting to play. I've just started playing them, and I feel that they have a lot of potential, and I'm glad to see that uh, Konami's definitely trying to bring up the idea of more interesting deck ideas, but the problem is they're, they're battling with the fact that their ban list doesn't support this. We need to sort that out, and I hope they do. But let's talk about the cards, because that's what I'm here to do. Starting with uh, Shinra Spirit Tree Regia, uh, or Regia, I'm not quite sure. Uh, his effect is once per turn, you can reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a plant type, send it to the graveyard and draw one card. Otherwise, place it on the bottom of your deck. If this card is revealed from the deck and sent to the graveyard, you can look at the top three cards from the top of your deck. Then return them to the top of the deck in any order. Uh, he's quite a nice card. The main reason you're going to be playing him is because of uh, their currently their only XYZ monster, which I've uh, shown off in a previous video with photons, and you sure saw how amazing he was without the actual support he was meant for. So you can imagine uh, how amazing he could be. Uh, in this archetype, which is all about that idea of revealing the top cards, and if they're sort of plants, then you can get all these extra sort of pluses from them. Uh, moving on to the second card, which is Shinra Tree Defender Orc. His effect is once per turn, you can reveal the top three cards of your deck, and if there are any plants among them, send those to the graveyard. Also, return the the other cards to the bottom of the deck as usual. If this card is revealed from the deck and sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can target one other plant type monster in your graveyard and place that target on the top of your deck. So as you can see, the idea is they can set each other up and have some real synergy going. Uh, moving on, this is going to be your main card, which is Shimra Knight Sicus. I like his. I like him. I just find it weird that he's a plant because obviously he's just so much like a warrior. You just think, hey, how can he not be? But regardless of that inconsistency, I suppose it's just a little niggle for me that, you know, he's obviously a warrior and they've not made him one. It might have been better to make the whole archetype based around sh the idea of just Shimra rather than the idea of plants. But hey, it gives them a bit more versatility with other plant cards. Uh, and his effect, anyway, is uh, when he's normal summon, you can reveal the top card of your deck if it's a plant type once it's sent to the graveyard. Otherwise, place it on the bottom of the deck. If this card is revealed from the deck and sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can choose one Shinra card from the deck and place it on top of your deck. You can use it on himself, which is quite interesting for deck thinning. Uh, which, uh, the deck's sort of, I like it. The problem is, obviously, at the minute, they haven't got a lot of support. I hope that they rectify it in the future. I'm sure they will. Uh, but it does immediately tell me that the decks, well, the archetypes are quite supported. Just immediately from what we're getting. Uh, I've got to say, I'm glad that they've come up with this idea. Because it's quite very interesting. I'm really uh, digging it. I've only been playing the deck itself for about an hour. With the deck I came up with. I will be doing a Duel of the Day... Uh, you know what, I could bring it up today because I don't see why not to support this video. Uh, moving on anyway, uh, Shinra Leaf Flow. Uh, his effect is when this card is normal summoned, you can reveal up to two cards from the top of your deck. And if there are any plant type monsters among them, send those to the graveyard. Also, also, as I was saying, some of those cards to the grave will also return the other cards, if any, to the bottom of the deck in any order. If this card is revealed from the deck and sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can set target one monster on the field and destroy that target. So that's a really nice effect, based on what he's capable of doing. Because the idea is that you can really get some real synergy going. If you're... I feel that one, the main thing about the deck is it promotes a lot of second turn plays in terms of you being second to start with because otherwise if you open up and this is like going to be milled it's redundant as is uh the next card we'll be talking about in terms of a milling standpoint so i'll go over this card because it's, it's another one which i like and uh i've got to be honest you've 
it's a deck where I've got to know what cards are more relevant in your hand on the field or uh, in your deck. And the thing is, I really think that this deck could do well. I think they need a bit more... I would say trap support, but the problem is the deck doesn't support that. <laughs> as well as that, the field spells... Eh, it's not as nice as it should be, I feel. I feel it's a bit annoying, if you ask me. Uh, but let's talk about him. So, uh, going forward, uh, Shinra Stulwet. His effect is when this card is flipped face up, you can reveal the top five cards of your deck, and if there are any plant-type monsters among them, send those cards to the graveyard. Also, return the other cards to the bottom of the deck as usual. Uh, if this card is revealed from the top... Yeah, from the deck and set to the graveyard by card effect you can target one spell or trap one field destroy that target uh, the annoying thing about these also is that because they have to be revealed first foolish isn't an option so that's, that's a little nil it may, I mean I like it I mean I like that you know it sort of has to be self contained but you can't just like meld it in with lights so on to make them another sort of way of them being up so it is very uh, nice that they've done that in a way but as you see, his effect's obviously promoting second turn play. Uh, moving on to our last monster, uh, Shinra Peacekeeper. Or as it's being known at the minute, Shinra no Mibari Peas. Wow. <laughs> so this card is when this is normal summoned or special summoned, you can reveal the top card of your deck, and if it's a plant type monster, send it to the graveyard. Otherwise, place it on the bottom of your deck. If this card is revealed from the deck and sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can target one level 4 lower plant type monster in your graveyard, special summon that target. So this card is really interesting. I feel it has a lot of... Uh, ways of being played and it's uh you could use one for one alongside it to be able to uh get the effect of specialing and stuff like that but i feel like he could be a really nice card in terms of being a staple of the deck there are some uh problems i suppose with him but you know obviously it's weak it's a level one another thing i'm finding a real difficult is because none of them have a corresponding attribute you know it's it's kind of you're even more limited in that respect as uh, if it was all say Earth, you could have used Radox or something along them lines, but because they're all sort of mixed, it's a little trickier to work around. So that was a monster lineup. I feel that it's okay at the minute. Obviously, I feel that they should add some more, possibly one what's uh, more draw orientated, because that's their main problem. They don't have the draw power needed, and I feel it could really help them. Uh, moving on to their field spell. Uh, this card's interesting. I feel it could have done with a bit of tweaking. I feel they uh, made it quite weak. Because it says you can send one plant monster from you control or from your hand or to the graveyard. Choose one Shinra monster from your deck and place it on top of your deck. You can only use this effect of Sacred Mountain of Shinra once per turn. Once per turn drawing your opponent's end phase, you can reveal the top card of your deck, and if the revealed card is a plant type monster, send it to the graveyard. Otherwise, place it on the bottom of your deck. So as you see, I like that it's got like a dual effect, where you can use it, where it gets an effect on both side uh, turns. And that's real cool, but the problem with it is, because you have to send one for its uh, main effect, you have always have to send one plant to be able to get that advantage. It ain't even an advantageous effect, really, when you think about it. It's just, just a setup for another card to get the effect. So as you can see, I feel that works against it. I don't think that was a necessary thing. But if they bring in some support for them, what is which benefits off them being sent from the uh, hand or field to the graveyard, then that would be really good alongside it. But obviously that would make it very conditional, the card itself. So, uh, it's, it's kind of weird at the minute, but I do like that it's got that secondary effect. Moving on to our trap, the only trap for them at the moment, which is return one card from your hand to either the top or bottom of the deck, and especially summon one Shinra monster from your hand or graveyard, it is unaffected by the card effects. During the end phase, return that monster to either the top or bottom of the deck. Now this card is really interesting, I like what it can do. Especially thinking about it, late game just throwing out a spiritual regia 
I mean, you could get a major advantage just off of that one card because obviously you can then use his effect and so on forward. Or even a uh, alt can be able to reveal free and you see you could get even more off that. But as you can see, I, I feel that they re they could be really good. But as I say, I would like them to, them to get a Shinra watch is when sent to a graveyard, draw a card, you know, because that would be really nice in terms of getting our draw power. That is my uh, one uh, opinion about the deck. Uh, moving on to their XYZ, their, uh, which I've sort of gone over previously, but in case you haven't seen that video, uh, once per turn you can declare one card name and reveal the top card of your deck. And if it's the declared card, add it to your hand. Otherwise, send that card to the graveyard. If a card is sent from your deck to the graveyard by a card effect, you can detach one XYZ material from this card. Then target one card on the field, place that target on the top or bottom of the deck. So as you can see, that's a really nice effect. Well, I mean, if you say mill a st stool at, you can get rid of uh, one of their spells and traps and another card alongside it because of him. Likewise with Leaf Flow. So as you can see, I feel the deck has a lot of promise. Well, the archetype, I should say. And uh, I think that they could really do well. I'm still working on a deck which uh, would be best for them. Uh, but once I've figured it out, I'll be uh, putting up a video of a deck profile. I uh, hope you've liked this. If you uh, want to see a Shinra deck profile, I would like a like. That'd be cool, so I know that you're interested in the archetype. And uh, yeah, expect a, a duel of a day to follow. <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone, and goodbye.